Here we go, back again with another video, yes. And we've got a few transfer rumours and also a little bit of kit news to boot. So I hope you've had a great week. I hope you've been really impressed with the signing of Daniel Ballard coming to Sunderland on a three-year three -year contract. Absolutely amazing. Now, you'll be all expecting more more transfer news, transfer rumours today. It's more rumours than actual news. These are rumours that are flying around on the moo on the moo mill on the on the rumour mill. Yes, the old rumour mill. Then we're going to start off before we get into the transfer situation with a bit of kit news. Yes, kit news. We've all seen that kit that's been leaked out there with the the red and white stripes and the, and a bit of a black trim and, and obviously the new Sports X logo on the front. That is 100% the kit that is going to be released. Yes, I've been told it's 100% the kit that's going to be released. Going to be released. So what's your thoughts on that? Do you like it or do you not like it? The jury's out with the black trim for a lot of people. A lot of people do like it at the same time. Now, again, it's when your own personal preference, when you put it on, whether you like it or not. Now, another bit of also kit news. <sighs> Yes, a bit of kit news. Now, what colour do you expect the away kit to be? What colour would you want the away kit to be? I'm going to tell you now, the away kit is going to be blue. The away kit is going to be blue. I don't know what shade of blue, whether it's light or whether it's going to be a dark blue or something in between. But yes, it's going to be a blue, the away kit. Allegedly, I've been told it's going to be blue. So there we go. I hope you enjoy that. Now, our first fixture in the pre-season friendlies it's going to be Rangers in Portugal next weekend and the passes have been released already the £7.50 to purchase online on the official Sunderland website and I will be doing a live stream yes I will be doing a live stream next weekend for Sunderland versus Rangers in Portugal now before we get started with the likes of Fabio Barini I'm going to go with this. There's been rumours out there of also a goalkeeper. Now, there's an ex Schalke goalkeeper who's reportedly, reportedly, have liked KLD on Instagram. It's called Martin Frizel. Martin Frizel, the Austrian place of birth, Wolf's back, 29 year old. He's played for teams like Schalke, like. D Haag and also out there uh, and other clubs, you know, obviously closer to his own home as well. So what's your thoughts on that? The 29-year-old, six foot two inches tall goalkeeper. There could be nothing in that whatsoever. There could be just people putting two and two together and coming away with sixes and sevens. Now, as you can see behind me, our Chart is coming along nicely, coming along nicely. That is the team we have at this moment in time, but we do need bodies in this side. And will we be getting somebody in next week? But there's no official, there's no rumours of, from my source, of any more medicals up and coming in the next few days. But Fabio Barini has said he wants to come back. He's open to come back and play for Sunderland. Of course he would. Up and coming Sunderland with wealthy owners. Of course, Fabio Barini would love to come back to Sunderland. And when Fabio Barini was at Sunderland, I thought he did a good job. I did like his, I did like his, you know, he did put a full shift in. He's got some wonderful goals. I love the goal against Newcastle, the goal against Chelsea. And also he scored a decent one against Norwich. I do like Fabio Barini. He's got that great one as well. I forget the team he scored against now. Was it Manchester United or someone like that? But you know, yeah, for me, I, I thought he was class. I thought he was class when he was here as um, on loan in the first time round. And I thought he was okay when he came back here after he, he left us for Liverpool. But yeah, there we go. Fabio Brini would have won him back. I personally, probably not. Because, you know, I think it's time. He, sometimes people have got to move on. Move on and find other players. Now, another player striker is Nathan Broadhead. Nathan Broadhead's reportedly been seen with some of Sunderland's coaches and, and people at the club so I don't know whether again is much into that whether he's just friends or whether that's coming along nicely and hopefully we'll be getting Nathan Broadhead again I don't know 
But what's your opinions on Fabio Barini? Do you think Barini would be a great asset at the age of 30? Want to come back to Sunderland? Do you think we should just move on? Stop, you know, reminiscing of the, of the past and move on to pastures new. Personally, again, I think we... If he came, I, I, I would support. I mean, I, I, would, I would wish him to do all the best. But if he didn't come, I wouldn't bother me one single bit. But more news as well. Jack Clark. Jack Clark is rumoured out there. None of these are from my personal sources, but Jack Clark is rumoured out there to be close to signing as well next week. Thrashing out a deal, three and a half million pounds for a three-year contract. Now, is that true? Tottenham bought it for 10 million. So 3.5 million is quite good, but on a permanent deal, would you want Jack Clark to come back? Do you think Jack Clark would be able, because we saw him again in League One against League One opposition, would he be able to raise his game again and improve again to play against championship opposition? What's your thoughts on Jack Clark? My thoughts on Jack Clark is... I, I thought he was okay. I didn't think it was anything special. He did get better as the season went on, along with Patrick Roberts. So you know he's only young, he could get better. And again, if he came to the club, I'd wish him all the best and support 100%. But if he didn't come to the club, it wouldn't break me heart in the slightest. So there we go, Jack Clark rumoured to be coming along. But there's a bit, of, a bit of news from the Academy of Light as well. The Academy of Light, we've signed a trio of players. A trio of players. Southern FC is pleased to announce three of its young players. Players to have signed their very first professional contracts at the club. Well done, Zach Johnson, 17. Goalkeeper Harrison Bond, 18. And Harry Gardner, 18. Have all penned their first senior deals on Wearside. And will predominantly continue their development with the under-23 side at the Academy of Light. Defender Johnson signs professionally until 2025. So yeah, it must be well thought of. Just a young, just a year in his scholarship. Having regular feature for clubs under 23s in the Premier League 2 during the 2021-22 season, Jock Johnson also became the youngest outfield player to make the first team appearance for the lads in almost 50 years last October as a late substitute in the Papa John's Trophy against Manchester United under 21s, aged 16 years and 141 days. Also, the goalkeeper has been given a, 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 a year's professional contract. The, the stopper added, I'm delighted to sign a professional contract with the club I've grown up at and where I've, I've, I've learned so much. I am so thankful to Mark Prudo, who was the first face I saw when I first entered the building. And to have that brief experience with the first team is even more motivation for me. Forward Gardner has also signed a one-year contract. So there we go. Good luck to the three young players. I hope they all do absolutely magnificently well and they've got good Good role models at the club to look up to. Anthony Patterson, 10 years of age at Sunderland. North Shields lad, come through. Now he's in the first team. He's going to stamp down his authority in the championship. So hopefully these youngsters, you know, they have, they've got, they've got the pathway there, the guidance there. They might come through and be do. I mean, Dan Neal's another one. Dan Neal could be an absolute star again this season with a good, a good pre-season behind him. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I hope you like the colour blue because that's what the wear shirt's going to be. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. And if I get any more news, you'll be the first to hear it. Take care and enjoy that weekend of yours, even though it is sunny but a bit breezy.